Is Honda and NASCAR, NASCAR basically a done, done deal? deal? The Honda and NASCAR rumors have existed for the better part of a decade, if not more at this point, but there certainly seems to be a ton of smoke right now around this would-be Honda to NASCAR fire. Marshall Pruitt from Racer.com, as well as a number of other outlets, on his podcast this week in IndyCar, where he answers um, readers' questions, and then you know he provides an answer, or at least talks to the series or the teams and tries to find an answer for them, was asked about Honda's interest in NASCAR, which has been rumored for a little bit. They were at the Daytona 500. They were wined and dined a little bit. You know, shown a good time, right? Come join us. Come take on Toyota. Come take on Chevrolet and Ford and see what you can do. Obviously, they're not happy with what's going on in IndyCar because they mentioned at the beginning or the very end of last year, beginning of this year, the timeline kind of all runs together here, that they weren't happy with IndyCar. And they sent a letter, basically a warning shot to the Order 16th in Georgetown. And we're like, hey, we're not happy with this. You need to lower the cost because right now the ROI that we get from this program doesn't work for us, which makes a lot of sense. They're spending a lot of money and there's not really much in return for them. Um, albeit they can take their picture with the Indy 500 trophy and you know, get a baby, a baby Borg to take home with them. Outside of that, it just doesn't feel like there's a ton of momentum right now behind IndyCar, especially under this Penske regime. So Marshall Pruitt, when asked about it, had an interesting comment to make, and you can hear it here in a second, where he says, if you're a Honda fan, if you're a Honda fan that watches NASCAR, you're going to be pretty happy soon. So take a listen. If you're a Honda fan and you like NASCAR, you're probably going to be really happy here in the future. Um, Quick clip, if you want to listen to the whole thing, go listen to Marshall's podcast. It's great every single week, especially if you're an IndyCar fan or just a fan of racing in general. He also has one around sports car racing uh, as well. But that came around like the seven, start with like 17 minutes to go in the podcast if you want to listen to like the whole thing leading up into it. Um, but for the most part, it seems like Marshall might know something that we all don't right now. And that's that Honda is going to make this move to NASCAR. It's not going to happen in 2025. And 2026 would be the earliest, and I'd be surprised that they managed 2026. They are, however, committed to IndyCar through the 2026 season, meaning 2027 could be a perfect play right there. But for Honda to leave IndyCar, that would be a massive blow to Roger Penske's series. Honda has been at with IndyCar since 1994. There was the sole supplier of engines for IndyCar from 2006 until 2012 when Chevrolet and Lotus joined. We don't talk about Lotus around these parts when you're talking IndyCar. To lose them, to lose a major partner like that, would it's not a death blow to IndyCar. IndyCar will still continue to exist. They'll just become spec Ilmor engines or something like that. They mentioned today, Mark Miles did, that IndyCar is looking at you know a new engine formula as well as a new chassis for 2027, and they remain in contact with a number of partners, uh, OEMs, about potentially joining the series. Kind of the same story we've heard for the better part of a decade now. The chassis that they're using... It's still the same chassis from 2012, and if you're keeping track right now, that's 14 or 12 years ago. I almost said 14. I thought we were living in 2026 for a minute. We're not. That's still 2024 as far as I know. But for IndyCar, that would be a huge blow because Honda's not going to run in both series. It doesn't make much sense. But right now, I can tell you the ROI that Honda would get from NASCAR is going to be greater than what they get from IndyCar. And I know there's going to be some IndyCar people that slide into my DMs or message me, and they're like, you don't understand what's going on with Honda. At the end of the day, 17 races that a quarter, half of what watches NASCAR watches, it just doesn't make much sense for the spin, where they can go over and have a four-car team in NASCAR. Spoiler alert, NASCAR also has four charters that are currently sitting unused for when a new OEM comes in, which means that our number of chartered cars will go up to 40 if this does happen. Also means that the field might get expanded back to 43 if we want to continue to have open spots. So that's something to take a look at. But if they were to join NASCAR, they have the four charter spots open right there. So they can at least start with a four car team if they wanted to. Whoever, if that's if they want to start up with a brand new operation. They, of course, can go out and partner with a track house or a spire or whoever. Uh, take your pick, whoever it's going to be. But for them, having a Honda Accord, Honda Civic, whatever car they want to put on track is much more beneficial than just having your nameplate on the side of a car. We're really, realistically, as much as I love IndyCar, I think it might be the best racing out there right now. There's only one race that the general public cares about, and that's the Indy 500. Outside of that, there's 16 other events, but it doesn't garner the same attention that NASCAR does, and certainly doesn't draw in the same amount of viewership either. So Honda going to NASCAR would be massive. 
NASCAR hasn't added a new manufacturer since 2007 when Toyota joined and they've lost a manufacturer after the 2012 season when Dodge left. And since then, it's been a lot of this. Well, you know, we're, we're changing the engine formula. We're changing the package all to attract a new OEM and the new OEM just hasn't come yet. But Honda apparently does seem pretty interested in NASCAR at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see here. But for Marshall to talk about it, of course, he's been wrong on things before. Everybody gets things wrong. Um, but he has such close ties to IndyCar. It does make a lot of sense if he says you guys are going to be very happy soon. Bummer for IndyCar. Would be great for NASCAR to have a fourth OEM. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Would you be happy with Honda coming in? I know there's a lot of people that are not going to be happy about it because those cheating Yoders come in and beat everybody. And the cheating Hondas are going to come in now and do the same thing. We'll have to wait and see. But like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard. Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.